Half Thor Bjornsson, better known as the mountain that rides on HBO's Game of Thrones, isn't just one of the strongest people on TV, he's one of the strongest people in the world. How did this lean and mean Icelander become the most fearsome knight in all of Westeros? It hasn't always been pretty. Bjornsson was always a big person, but before he was the freakishly huge mad dog of the Lannisters, he was more tall than he was wide. Instead of weightlifting, he put his talents to use as a professional basketball player in Iceland's first division. As a younger man, Bjornsson says his weight hovered around the 230-pound range, which is nothing compared to the near 400 pounds he eventually achieved. He said in an interview with GQ, I was always taller than everybody else. I've been training all my life, but probably didn't grow muscly until I quit doing basketball. His naturally large frame gave him a big advantage on the basketball courts, but he also was dedicated to working out and getting better. Speaking to Men's Health, he said, I was a bit crazy and trained a lot, probably three times a day, before school, then afterwards, plus I was lifting at night. His intense work ethic paid off on the court, but his basketball days were plagued by a recurring ankle injury which ultimately dashed his hoop dreams. He told GQ, I was always getting injured. I injured my ankles quite badly. I had to have surgery, so the second time I had an operation, I decided to take a break from basketball to heal my foot. After basketball, Bjornsson wasn't sure what to do with himself. Already accustomed to a heavy training regimen, Bjornsson decided to stay the course and keep working out. But instead of going hard in the paint, he went to work in the weight room, focusing his energy on simply improving his body. He told GQ, I just fell in love with the weights, fell in love with training hard, started to put weight on quite fast, started to get strong really fast. I saw results. Over the next few years, weightlifting turned into a healthy addiction for Bjornsson, and the Icelander nearly doubled his body weight. Of course, weightlifting alone can't turn a 240-pound basketball player into the mountain that rides. It may not surprise you to learn that the mountain that rides eats a mountain of food every day. Breaking down his diet to GQ, he said, I eat a lot of sweet potatoes, a lot of meat, fish, chicken, good fats like cocoa butter, almonds. I love greens like spinach, avocado, broccoli. I eat very healthy overall. Sounds great, but how much is a lot exactly? So, what were you guys talking about? No. <laughs> Bjornsson requires a total intake of some 10,000 calories a day, and there's really only one way for him to fit all that food into his stomach. Never stop eating. As Bjornsson told GQ, If you don't eat, you don't grow. It's just like constantly work for me. I have to eat every two hours to maintain my body mass. We're not talking about grazing throughout the day here, either. Bjornsson reckons he devours around six to eight full meals a day. Even for a giant like him, such a feat is not easy, especially when he's at work shooting Game of Thrones. Though Bjornsson focuses mostly on heavy weightlifting and strength training, he doesn't always stick to the same workouts. Instead, he believes it's crucial to mix things up. According to Bjornsson, there's more to being an accomplished strongman than simply putting on more muscle. As he told the New York Times, You can't just be strong, you have to be quick, you have to have flexibility. For that reason, you can sometimes find him out doing cardio exercises such as swimming, biking, or even jogging with his adorable Pomeranian. He's freakish big and freakish strong, and quicker than you'd expect for a man of that size. Exercising the entire body is crucial to seeing results, especially when you're already as huge as Bjornsson. He told Men's Health, When people ask me about my routine, it's hard to say because I change it every week. If you always train the same way, your body gets used to it and you stop seeing results after a few weeks. Bjornsson is big, but he's not interested in getting bigger. Instead, he's aiming to improve the body he already has. He told GQ, Getting bigger isn't a big deal for me. I don't want to get bigger, but having a nicer body and being stronger is definitely something I'm aiming for. On April 14, 2019, the day of the season premiere of the final season of Game of Thrones, ESPN's E60 documentary series aired an interview they conducted with Bjornsson back in 2017, where the star revealed that he has used steroids. Have you ever used steroids? Have I? Yes. Um, yes, I have. Both Bjornsson and his family expressed fears about his health due to his extreme training regimen. But when pressed as to why he decided to take steroids, Bjornsson replied, When you want to be the best, you do whatever it takes. He finally won the World's Strongest Man competition in 2018. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite actors are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.